nome é Marina, eu sou farmacêutica de P&D, aqui da Farma Nostra, e hoje eu estou aqui com um importante convidado, Jonathan Hall, cientista pesquisador da Interhealth, para falar com a gente sobre as principais dúvidas em relação ao C2. Seja bem-vindo, Jonathan. Hello, good morning. Jonathan, para começar, qual é a diferença entre os colágenos do tipo 1 e 2? Let's start with thinking about what collagen is, because there are many types of collagen. Collagen can be give you flexibility in the skin, but it can also provide you stability in your bones and joints. So actually, there are many different types of collagen. The difference between type 1 and type 2, as is the um, similarity between many types of collagen, is they are coded by different genes. Now, when a gene codes um, a different protein, it becomes translated into uh, different uh, proteins. And the proteins have different amino acid sequences, and because of the different amino acid sequences, they have different secondary and tertiary structures. E a diferença entre o colágeno desnaturado e o não desnaturado? That's a good question. <laughs> We get this question a lot. On denatured collagen is the collagen that's in its intact state. So in the way I described from the gene, uh, it's, uh, the gene ends up producing the uh, protein, the collagen protein, and, it, and this has a very specific structure. Uh, on denatured collagen is as the body makes it. And in UC2, we try to make it as similar as possible to, to keep the initial state. Now, once you have this undenatured collagen, you can also choose to chemically modify it, right? So in hydrolyzed collagen, you can expose it to very high temperatures, you can expose it to, to enzymes or a strong acid or a strong base. Now, what happens when you do that process is that it ends up uh, dis uh, disrupting the, the tertiary and secondary structure and also cutting it down into smaller chunks of, of, of peptides. So in the undenatured, you have a long one um, that's completely intact, native, and then the hydrolyzed or denatured, it's modified um, into smaller fragments um, or, or the helical strands tend to be um, separated apart. E sobre o mecanismo de ação do C2? Fale um pouco pra gente. Sure. So our understanding of how um, UC2 is effective in, the, in uh, the body is unlike any other supplement that we have seen. The way that our understanding of it, uh, its mechanism is that you ingest it and the undenatured collagen makes its way into a particular region in the intestine called the Peyer's patch. Now the Peyer's patch job is to um, recognize pathogens and from there it can create an immune response. Now, UC2 can trigger, from our understanding, a type 2 collagen specifically, um, can trigger a, an immune response from the Peyer's patch that ends up um, helping to uh, accelerate uh, cartilage uh, repair mechanisms in the body. And to finish, Fale um pouco para gente sobre a segurança do UC2. Sure. So it's important to remember UC2 has been clinically studied. So prior to the clinical studies, uh, we've done toxicological work. Um, we've also monitored um, all of the um, subjects in the study were, were monitored as, as there was no um, serious adverse events reported. Um, we've also known that this product has been on the market for a very long time and no adverse events have been reported. But it's also just um, important to remember that it's derived from chickens. And so you really would not expect it um, intuitively to, to have any of these issues. Esperamos ter esclarecido as principais dúvidas em relação ao C2. Jonathan, muito obrigada pela sua participação. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak with you today. Nós ficamos por aqui e até a próxima.